So what I've been working on today, not for the first time ever, of course, but like I just so happen to be doing this today. I do it a lot actually, but uh, just like chord triad pairs, you know what I mean? So like, let's say you have like a A Dorian. Let's pretend it's in tune. So, okay, so A Dorian, you got So the we're talking about major triad pairs. Typically they're a whole step apart, but like so the major triad pairs associated with A Dorian are, you know, C and D. So to be able to play those chords and pair and then you play their inversions all the way up and down the neck. From the lowest possibility, lowest possible position on the neck, going up to the highest, and let's assume we're playing the 5A string, the 4D, and the 3G. The first triad pair would be C, which we all know that. We usually play it as a C chord, right? Like a cowboy chord, but just playing these three strings. Then you go up to D, F sharp, A. So that was, you know, the C triad, the D triad. Now we're going to play a C triad and a D triad, but in the inversion. So you got, again, we're talking about five, four, and three strings. The fifth, fourth, and third strings. So we got seven, five, five makes it, that's a D inverted triad. I'm sorry, a C. And then the D one is a nine, seven, seven. Then the next one is... 10, 10, 9, there's a C triad. 12, 12, 11, there's a D triad. So whenever you got an A Dorian, you got to know that basically the minor third and the fourth are the major chord triads that you can play to make it sound like a Dorian. And then, of course, G back to the Ionian. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, just leave a note or something. But yeah, like so, for example, if you had, you know, C Dorian, then you know a minor third away from that is E flat, and then the fourth is away is F, so you get E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, F. And you could if in your head, if you're playing C Dorian and you know it's E flat and F, you could just start all the way down at E flat, which is one one zero, and then F being three three two. That was your E flat and your F triads. Now your next inversion of E flat is six five three, and then your next one of F is eight seven five, and you got ten eight. 